Hey everybody, Jason here with everything ATV UTV reviews. Thanks for watching in advance. Today we're going to be installing this new super winch on an ATV. So before we get too far into this video, uh, most of your winches do come with this small mounting plate. This is for your roller fairlies to go on to, and you're actually going to need an additional mounting plate that probably didn't come with your kit for your particular machine. Now we purchased this one from Warren. It's about $80. Uh, pretty simple piece of steel, all the holes drilled, that's going to mount our winch. So guys, to save time, I went ahead and bolted these two plates together and installed the roller fair lead on the front. Two bolts hold the roller fair lead on, two on this winch plate. Then our actual winch is going to be mounting these four holes right here. Just don't have enough room in here to mount the winch and put it on this ATV. Your situation may be different. Okay, first I'm just going to make sure my mounting plate fits good. Everything looks good on that. Go ahead and pull it out. And we're gonna slide our winch in. Hold up and then slide the mountain plate under. And that is a tight fit. Okay guys, so we got our, our winch bolted down, then we got our mountain plate in. I went ahead and put our hook on. Now we're going to move into the wiring. Okay, now getting into the wiring and prior to disconnecting your battery, you want to go ahead and find you a keyed hot lead. That means it's got power with the key on and off with it off. ATVs have these generally all over the wiring harness, extra. Sometimes you'll find them up here in the pod area. So find yours, go ahead and mark it. Then we'll be disconnecting our battery. Now go ahead and mount your rocker switch. You can go up top or down low. The wire coming out of your rocker switch, try to keep it running with your factory wiring. Uh, you can use the same bra bracketry that it uses and also check your steering. Make sure you can cut side to side and you've got plenty of, of give in here so your wire don't get binded up. Next we'll be taking our two longest cables provided with our winch, one red and one black. Run them from the winch all the way back towards our battery. Now you can install your remote mountain socket your winch come with one. Uh, this doesn't have to go here necessarily, you can be creative with it. Okay, now we have our power wires ran back, our handheld remote switch, and our rocker switch. I'm going to be running all these into the toolbox area where we're going to mount our solenoid. So I've got all our components uh, mounted here. This is actually the toolbox in this ATV. I had to go over them with you. Got a hot coming in to the solenoid, got our negative coming into the solenoid, then our hot and negative going up to our winch up front, handheld switch and remote rocker switch, both these tie in, everything's color coordinated, um, circuit breaker mounted right here. Other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the battery, give it a test run before I button this thing completely up, and then go back and tie up any loose ends, including putting these boots on all of our terminals with plenty of dielectrical grease. So guys, thanks for watching, hope that's helped. 